Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. So first up, a huge, huge congratulations to ND County who took down our very first Masters contest and walked away with the $500 grand prize. And uh, a follow-up congratulations to everybody who joined in that contest because the city plans that they designed for Spectacle Island are unbelievable. In the background here, you can see a glimpse at ND County's winning design. It is very, very cool. And you can check it out and all of the other Spectacle Island designs by downloading the final version of the Season 1 City Plan Contest Entries mod, which now has the Spectacle Island builds. On top of that, we also applied the City Plan Compacting script that I mentioned in the last Patch Notes video. So that mod should have shrunk down and use a good portion less script data so it'll help you guys get even more settlements in or city plans rather into your game without it blocking up from loading which is what happens when you hit the script data limit all right now the next thing we're going to talk about is a little mod i released earlier today called frank town versus ron town all right this here hey. is Just frank the word and frank town becomes a reality and he is one of two fully voiced new settlers in the Anon Pack Franktown versus Rontown, which we just released. And I'm calling it an Anon Pack because to make sure to distinguish, this is not the new Sims Ottoman expansion. This is much smaller in scope, and it fits within the existing code and rule sets of Sim Settlements. Now, this Anon Pack is unique in a couple of ways. Um, first off is that... Even though it has faction packs for Conqueror, it doesn't actually require that you have Conqueror installed to enjoy it. So these settlers, these fully voiced settlers, if that's the only piece you want to use of it, you can absolutely do that. And uh, these two settlers, Frank and Ron, will appear at Starlight Drive-In and Sunshine Tidings Co-op, respectively, as soon as you uh, take control of them. And if you're loading this into an existing save where you already control those settlements, you'll find that those two settlers are already there and assigned as settlers at those places, and you can send them to other settlements. So that in general, they can act just like normal settlers. But what will happen is when you first arrive in those settlements, they will run up to you and have a little introductory conversation and give you some of their backstory. Now, for those of you guys who are who this rings a bell and seems familiar to the Franktown versus Rontown, that is because it is based on a couple of YouTube series by Ricky Summer and Adam Kluga. And so I tried to take a lot of the lore they created for those YouTube series and encapsulate it into these characters. In fact, they these characters are even voiced by those YouTubers because I had such a blast watching those YouTube series uh, evolve over time. It was really fun to have some people playing some settlements for a very long time. They went almost a full year uh, developing out these characters in these YouTube series and so it was a lot of fun and it helped me develop a lot of quality of life improvements to some settlements so big shout out to them uh, it was a it was a huge inspiration to see somebody taking something I created and then building these uh, this lore around it it was a lot of fun and so these characters and their corresponding faction packs are heavily influenced by those YouTube series but you definitely do not have had to watch those YouTube series to enjoy this but if you did watch them uh, you're gonna get a lot you're gonna get a real kick out of this uh, there's a lot of little subtle uh, references to stuff that happened in those series. Uh, in fact, the this add-on pack actually started because Uit Uit got a hold of the first season's save files for each of those YouTube series and turned them into city plans. So if you again, if you watch the YouTube series, you'll you'll recognize the city plans, and if you haven't, you can still enjoy them. They're unique city plans. One thing that's interesting about those city plans is because those settlements were designed in the first year of Sim Settlements, the in the uh, martial and recreational plots didn't yet exist. So these are settlements with out any of those types of plots but because of the plot swapping mechanic that we added some time ago you can go ahead and add those in as needed if you're playing with those city plans so new city plans thanks to you it you it for starlight and sunshine tidings and then the i think the biggest feature of this is actually the faction pack aspect which will be which obviously if you're playing with conqueror you can take advantage of and they do work with the new warp war options startup option uh, they are not enabled by default but you will see them as option they are called the ladanks which is frank's cyberpunk themed faction and then the Greg's which is Ron's robot themed faction and you can go ahead and enable those if you want if you want to see them pre conquer and you can also get access to them uh, for yourself to run them as your own faction by talking to these NPCs uh, what they'll do is when you first they after they introduce themselves they'll first ask you to make them the leaders of the corresponding settlements they're in and then if you talk to them again they will tell you about their faction idea and ask you to establish sunshine or starlight as their 
corresponding faction. And uh, we've I, I've arranged with uh, some clever coding in Franktown versus Rontown to override the general requirements that the settlement be empty in order to convert it for a faction. Um, I did. That. There's a, a basically there's a trick we can do to allow it to bypass those rules, and I embrace that with uh, Franktown versus Rontown. And any of you faction pack authors who want to know how to do that, you can definitely get in touch with me, and I can show you the code that you would need to pull that off. In addition to that, these factions actually are coded in with some special rules I did, uh, which is that uh, when Frank is in charge of the Ledank faction at, and is the leader of the main base for them. All of those soldiers will be equipped with cyber gear and it will be upgraded as those soldiers rank up, even in outposts that he's not in charge of. So all outposts and even if there's no armory. So this is a unique way that the uh, the Ledank faction functions, which is uh, contrary to what other fun faction packs would work. Generally, a faction requires an armory in each of the outposts to gear up all the soldiers. So that's the ben one of the benefits of the Ledank faction. And uh, the Greg's faction's big thing is that anytime one of your soldiers dies if ron is in charge of the main base for the gregs uh, then their brain is harvested and reused to build an experimental new robo brain and uh, those robo brains will uh, show up at your main base and they can be used in assaults or as defenders or patrols or whatever so uh, those are some unique rules for these particular factions and the factions are Heavily influenced, again, by uh, lore from those YouTube series, but it's all explained enough in idle dialogue and these introductory conversations. So, again, you definitely didn't have to watch those YouTube series, but uh, I wanted to make sure the player or people who watched those series would uh, get a lot of references and enjoy a lot of this stuff. And then we invented some custom lore specifically for this add-on pack to uh, make it work well with the faction pack system. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's it's very campy, I will say. So if you're creating a super serious playthrough, this is probably, these characters are not for you. These factions are not for you. But if you enjoy the general campiness of Fallout 4's sci-fi, then you're going to love this. Uh, I was I, I used the antagonizer versus mechanist quest line as a heavy influencer when writing the dialogue and uh, creating these factions. So again, super campy and silly, over-the-top stuff, uh, but still all within Fallout lore. So it, it it all makes sense still. It's uh, it's nothing too far out there. Uh, but I know a lot of players like to design their Fallout 4 playthroughs to be super serious and, and hardcore realistic. So if that's you, this is not for you. But if you like the Fallout 4 aesthetic, this is definitely something you're going to appreciate. All right, guys. Uh, so check out Franktown vs. Uh, Rontown, the add-on pack. No matter what your what kind of Sim Settlements player you are, I think there's something for you here. And then uh, for those of you guys looking forward to those Spectacle Island builds, go download the Season 1 update for the Contest Entries mod, uh, which has those available now. And then the, uh, the voting for the Longfellows City Plan Contest uh, should be... It's either... I either probably launched it yesterday or I will be starting this weekend. Uh, that got delayed because we wanted to get the Masters voting in. And uh, so hopefully we'll have all of that done in time to still hit our normal date of uh, releasing those on the 28th. But with the holidays, those might get screwed up. So watch for another news video uh, sometime between Christmas and New Year's to uh, get those out. All right, guys. Take care and enjoy the mods.